What's up, Calc gang? All right, so we're back here with another uh, fluid dynamics kind of question. So it says water is flowing into a pipe with a circular cross section with very cross sectional areas. Uh, so at one point, the radius is 0 0.5. So radius is equal to 0 0.15 meters. What else do we have? We have that the speed of the water at this point is uh, 1.2 meters cubed per second is how fast it flows in. Uh, and this is what is the speed of the water at this point. So this is change in velocity over change, or change in volume over change in time, not change in velocity. So part A asks us uh, what's the speed that it flows in with. So our equation for this is it's going to be area times velocity is equal to the change in volume over change in time. And yeah, the units are going to work out for this. So cross-sectional area, it's pretty simple. So it's a circle pipe, right? I'm pretty sure it's a circular cross-section used to be. So it's pi radius squared times velocity is equal to dv over dt. We're trying to find velocity, so let's divide. So velocity is equal to dv over dt. And then all of that divided by pi radius squared. So we have everything, right? So our velocity, uh, it flows in at 1.2. So this is 1.2 divided by pi times its radius, 0.15 squared. And you solve this to get a number. What is that number? I don't know. That number is 16.98 meters a second. So that's the velocity that it flows in. Nice. So let's move on to part B. Solve it over here. What is it asking for? Uh, so it says that another section, the speed flows in at 3.8 meters a second. So we're going to rearrange this equation, right? So AV1 is equal to AV2, right? So area times volume at any point is equal to the area times volume at any other point. So we have, or I mean velocity, not volume. Okay. So the area at part one, we said, you know, is pi radius squared of one times volume, or velocity of one <laughs> times pi radius squared of two times the velocity of two. So the pi's are going to cancel. Just one last thing to plug into your calculator. We have the radius of one, and we're trying to find uh, the radius of two, right? So we're trying to find this. So we're going to divide over, so it's radius of one squared times volume, or velocity of one, divided by velocity of two is equal to the radius squared. So of course, we can take the square root of both sides just to get rid of that. So we're going to get radius of two is equal to the square root, plug in our row we got. So it's 0 0.15, right? Uh, squared times the velocity at that point, which we just found to be 16.98. And then the velocity at 2, which we just found to be 3.8. We didn't find it, we calculated, or we had given it. And then if you solve this problem, you're going to get it's 0 0.32 meters, which makes sense, right? You see that its, uh, it's velocity decreased by pretty significantly. It went from like 6 or 17 to 3.8, so you know that it's area that's going to increase, so it's radius doubled, it works out pretty well. So that's how you solve these kind of problems. Good luck on your physics homework. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. So thanks for the support.